Upon hearing the scope of the earthquake's devastation, not only were city volunteers mobilized to comfort survivors, but Master Jinyin also sends her condolences to those who have suffered, as she too suffers when people are suffering. Passing along her empathy, city volunteers delivered letters of condolences and consolation cash to those who were affected. When I reached the stairway between the third and the fourth floor, stairs below the third floor was gone. Mr. Wang lived in the collapsed Xingfu building in Tainan's Guiren district. At the time, he went door to door calling for his neighbors, urging them to get out of the building. In total, he brought 10 people out with him. Now the group is staying at the local district office. Thanks to the comfort of the volunteers, his heart has been calmed. I've felt much love. Reading out loud Master Jinyin's letter of condolence, volunteers pass along the Master's blessings and consolation cash to disaster survivors. Lin Li Guan's family, which includes a 16 days old baby, was among the lucky ones. I didn't have a jacket, no formula, no diapers. It was the Tsuji sister who heard of my situation that purchased all fine for me. I'm really touched. <laughs> Volunteers also visited the mortuary to send Master Jinyin's blessings. Fang Youwei, who lived in the Weiguan building that crumbled, lost his mother and two of his sister's children. Putting on a brave front, he had a few words of farewell to send to his mother. I believe she is in a better place. The things about me, she wanted me to change. I will work to change. We will continue to follow up with these residents. If they need further assistance, we will send local volunteers to care for them. Empathizing with the disaster victims who have lost their loved ones, volunteers plan to follow up with these survivors to ensure they know someone out there cares for them.